Hey everybody, I want to talk about floor mops. In particular, this mop. This is the Libman Roller Mop. I've had this mop for a long time. And the reason I want to talk about it is because I've been just a little bit emotional about this mop lately. And I wanted to tell you about it. I want to give you a product review. The good and the not so great. Sometimes I have products that I really love, I really like, or I really loved. And I think they're just fabulous products, great products, except for that one thing. And there's one thing that just keeps it from being a great product. Maybe one thing that makes it not a very good product, but otherwise it's fantastic. And I think if the manufacturer would just address this one issue, oh, they'd have a great product. But the way it stands, I can't say that I'm really satisfied, and it's frustrating because in so many ways, it's a great product. And that's how I feel about my Libman Roller Mop. I've had this mop for a long time, decades, and I've done a lot of mopping with it. When I ran a cat care facility, we had concrete floors, polished concrete, and I mopped them regularly with this mop. And it's a great mop. I think it's got good balance, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, it works well. I like the integrated mop ringing system. You just operate this handle right here that moves the rollers forward and squeezes the water out of the mop head. When it comes time to replace the mop head, you just push the lever all the way and it ejects the mop head out of the mop handle and you can just easily slide this one off and hook a fresh mop head in, pull it back in place, and go on. And if somebody had asked me to recommend a mop in the past, I would have quickly said the Libman Roller Mop. It's fantastic. But I've been less happy with it lately <clears throat> because we're in a place with hardwood floors and a lot of tile, and I'm doing a fair amount of mopping. Although I don't know that I'm really doing that much more mopping than I used to do. But it seems lately, mop heads just are not surviving very long. In the past, I was able to put a mop head on this mop and get quite a lot of use out of it until the mop head just became so soiled that it was time to change it out. But lately, it seems that the mop heads just don't last very long. Now, I have destroyed a mop head, and it's entirely my fault. I tried to wring out the mop before waiting for the mop head to become completely saturated with water. And when I tried to wring it out with a partially dry mop head, the uh, wringers just tore the mop foam head apart. That's on me. And I accept that that's my fault. And I realize that these foam mop heads are not super durable, so I don't try to scrub the floor with tremendous gusto. I try to be gentle on the mop head. And when it comes time to wringing it out in the bucket, I am likewise. I move slowly and smoothly with the handle to be gentle to the material in the mop head. But even so, it seems lately... After just a few uses of the mop, maybe two, three, four times of mopping the floor, the mop head is just disintegrating. It seems to tear right between the center and the outside edge. I don't know if you can see that right there, but this one's only been used, I think, about two times, two mopping sessions, and it's already starting to tear and come apart. Now, it seems to me in years past, the mop heads are more durable. So I don't know if there's a change in the mop head. A change in the way I'm using the mop, change in the surface I'm using, but um, it's just not working so well for me anymore. And that's disappointing because these mop heads are pretty expensive. They're five to seven dollars a piece to replace, and if I can only get a couple, three mopping sessions out of a mop head and I have to spend that kind of money for a new mop head, that really impacts the value of this mop. Now I like the mop. A lot in every other way except that the mop heads just don't seem durable so because of that I'm on the hunt for a new mop 
I hate to let go of that one, but it's just not serving me well anymore. It's just become too expensive to operate if I have to replace a mop head that frequently. So, if you have an opinion as to what floor mop, floor mopping system you're using that is of commercial quality, that can endure the test of time, that doesn't fall apart after a couple of uses, I'd like to hear your experience. Let me know what you're using and what you like. I'm leaning towards replacing that mop with a Rubbermaid Wavebreak 2 system that uses a old-fashioned string-headed mop. And the plus of that is that those mop heads I can just throw in the laundry and clean out and reuse. And so I should get lots of use out of that. But that's my quick review of the Libman Roller Mop System. I think it's a great mop in every way except that the replaceable mop heads need to be replaced too often. And I'm sure that's how the company makes its money is selling you replacement mop heads. But with the durability that I'm experiencing under my conditions, I just can't say that it's got good value. So that's a product that I, I really like. I really love it. And I'd really love to love it, but there's that one thing. So there's a review for you of the Libman Roller Mop, obviously not sponsored. And I appreciate your comments as to what I'm doing wrong or what mopping system you think I should take a look at. Hey, thanks for tuning into the video. And if you're out there looking for a floor mop, well, that's one of them that you can consider and you can consider my experience with it. Take care. Thanks for watching.